Hi, and welcome to another video of cloudwords.net. And in this video, we're going to have a look at how you can restore your files with Backblaze. So maybe you have the question how the restore process actually works. And in this video, we're going to cover this in depth. So uh, if you still cannot decide whether Backblaze is the right solution for your file backups online, then I highly recommend you check out our Backblaze review where we really dissect uh, each and every piece of that software so you can make the best decision for your needs. Or you can obviously always check our comparison chart for personal cloud storage and backup and see what other providers are available to you, how much they cost, and obviously you can then read our, our reviews accordingly. Now, how do you restore or what options do you have if you want to restore files with Backblaze? Now, um, most of the uh, Online backup services offer their the restore process directly inside the software. Um, however, Backblaze uh, has a slightly different approach. I cannot say that I like it pretty much, but um, that's how it is, and it has worked for me in the past uh, quite well, let's say. So. Uh, what you need to do is you have to uh, click on the button restore options and then you can see what options you have you can either choose the web download where you get a zipped file um, into your mailbox and then you can download the selected files you can either um, order a usb flash drive or a usb drive that is uh, sent to you uh, via fedex um to all of those uh, drives that Backblaze, is, Backblaze sends you, obviously surcharges apply. Um, I believe it starts uh, at $99 and goes up to $189. So it is quite pricey, but if you have a lot of files, then um, this might be the best option for your needs. I'm going to choose the the web download, uh, which is free, and I'm going to demonstrate that uh, right now. So you can click then on sign in um, to the website to restore and then you uh, land on your account overview page. And obviously, you need to click on view and restore files. And here, you can then um, wait until your files are loaded, you can see the little progress bar here, it takes a while until everything is backed up uh, correctly. And um, here you have it again, the options that you have. So you are limited to four terabyte if you order the USB hard drive. So let's have a look at what files we could uh, back up. So let's go into a, a folder here. I don't want it to be too huge of a file because that's one of the downsides. It takes a while until everything is backed up. So I'm selecting a file. I could then choose a, a different version of the file if there is uh, any available, if I need to go back in time. And then I click on continue with restore. So let's see what happens. Obviously, I could do that with all of my with all of my files, but it would take a time. And I would highly recommend you um, um, I would highly recommend you chunk your restores up into several gigabytes um, as to speed up the process a little bit. And I admit this can be very cumbersome if you have a terabyte of files to to restore. So in that regard, Backblaze might not be the best option and you should uh, look at other online backup services that have a little easier um, restore process such as CrashPlan or Carbonite where you restore the files directly from within the client. So you should then get an email um, pretty soon with that zip file inside. So now you can see that the select the files you selected to restore um, are ready. And this is the email you get from Backblaze. So I just click the email. And then um, let me just uh, see all the the contents of the of the email. I, I just uh, I copy, um, I copy the the URL here. Um, to uh, download the file and I'll paste it into my browser window. Um, and here is the file in my restores. And then I can download the file accordingly. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, if you have a lot of uh, files to restore or larger files, then uh, you can use the Backblaze downloader, which works a little better than the browser downloader. And if you're a download is corrupted, I mean, the connection is interrupted, then um, you can resume the download later, which may be a little cumbersome within the browser. So that is the Backblaze restore process. It is fairly simple, um, but it can take some time uh, if you have a lot of files. So 
I really hope I could uh, help you with this video and make your decision a, uh, a little bit easier uh, whether or not Backblaze is the right solution for your needs. Um, you can always check the comparison chart for more options on online backup and cloud storage services. And I really hope you enjoyed uh, the presentation. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it uh, on YouTube. That helps us uh, spread the word and create more free videos for you guys. Okay, we're going to see us in the next video. Bye-bye.